i. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find an element by id. So for that, we'll go to google.com as homepage and we will inspect an element for id. So we have id like gac underscore scont. Then we have id prm dash pt. And we are going to check one for, let's say, this input box. Or you can also go for button. Okay. So depending on which ID you choose for your test, let's go with GBW that is below for this page so let's go to the code and start by importing selenium package type import org dot open QA selenium after that let's import org dot open QA selenium and Firefox after that let's import org open QA selenium and then buy now let's create web driver instance by typing web driver driver new firefox driver then we will go to google.com by typing http google.com after that Inside try and catch block, we will find element by ID. And here I am going to check for GBW as my ID. Okay, inside catch block, I will simply check for exception and then I'm going to print out error message as element not found okay so the program is pretty clear you can skip by not importing by or simply remove this and keep it to single package so that being said, our program is we are importing Selenium, Selenium Firefox and then we are creating instance of Firefox to navigate to google.com. Then inside try and catch block, we are checking the element GBW on google.com page and also we are also passing exception if that element is not found. So let's run this test. So this will start Firefox instance. And if this element is found, then there will be no error on our console. So let's close this and change this to something gibberish so that it won't be found. Okay, so simply run your test and you will find that your console will be flagging element not found message. Okay, so pay attention to the bottom you will find element not found right here on console this means find element by id code works so all you have to do is you have to check for the id on the page and then you search by using find element by id and give your id here if it finds it then no message will be printed and if it does have issue with finding your ID then it will pass that error.